Hi sir, thanks for being here. So my name is P. Sai Balaji and our team number is 227. So our project name is Breast Cancer Direction Using TensorFlow. So first of all, let's see what is a cancer first. So cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. So basically cancer comes from a tumor, a group of cells that will, will spread to the other parts of the body. It will keep on increasing its size. So, so basically we are going to deal with the breast cancer here. There are so many types of cancers present there. So basically we are going to see about the breast cancer here. So first of all, there are two types of uh, uh, breast cancers like uh, harmful and harmless. These tumors, some of them are malignant and some are benign tumors. So malignant tumor is malignant tumor is a cancerous left unchecked malignant cells eventually can spread beyond the original tumor to the parts of the body. So the term breast cancer refer to the malignant tumor. And coming to the benign tumor here. So benign tumor is not malignant. So this is not harmful but we have to take treatment for this also. So first of all, uh, we have to decide whether it is a malignant tumor or a benign tumor. Why? Because a malignant tumor is a very harmful and we have to get treatment like chemotherapy uh, for that uh, tumors. So we have to decide whether the tumor is a malignant or benign. So we, ha we are going to deal with the, we are going to deal with the uh, machine learning algorithm or we are going to try a model that which will depict whether it is a benign tumor or a malignant tumor. So let's see how we are going to make this. So for dealing with this, if we want to build a model, we need the data set. Here using the Kaggle Breast Cancer Vincian Diagnostic data set, he is, he is available in the Kaggle. So I have downloaded the data set here. So if you see here, here this is the ID of the patient. And here is the diagnosis uh, result. M represents, uh, M represents the malignant tumor and B represents the benign tumor. So these are all the parameters that which are, um, that which we get from the scanning reports and the x-ray reports. So these are all the data that which we collected from the patient scanning or other, uh, other, uh, other uh, um, tests we gone through. So here the data is available and it is around 500, around 560 cases uh, are available here. So using this data set, we are going to build our model. These are various other parameters like uh, radius of the tumor and so much like radius of the meter, texture, parameter, area, smoothness. Deciding uh, Depending upon this all, we are going to depict that whether it is a malignant or benign tumor. So let's get into the project here. So here, first of all, uh, using TensorFlow, we have to install the TensorFlow here using GPU 2.0 version. So here we downloaded it successfully, and then we are we are importing this TensorFlow STF, and we are importing the TensorFlow from Krias. Krias, Krias is a main Python library for deep learning algorithms we use it uh, it's basically runs on tensorflow it is used for implementing the deep learning models as fast as uh, easily possible for research and uh, development uh, for research and development we use krias so these are all the sequential uh, flat and dense dropout batch uh, normalization these are all the functions present in this krias so that which will uh, help us to that which will help uh, us to uh, creating this model or uh, generating this model and training this model so that's why we are importing this all functions from Krias. Here we printed the version of the TensorFlow. And, and here uh, Pandas, uh, we are importing the Pandas. Why? Because we need the data management. That's why we are uh, using Pandas and NumPy for the mathematical expressions. Uh, we are going to use the NumPy. And Seaborn and Matplotlib for just um, data visualization, we are going to use this. And for training uh, the deep learning algorithms, we need a SQL and scikit-learn from that we are downloading for downloading the data sets we need downloading and matrix and uh, to 
to train the model we need to import the train and uh, test split and and also we are using the standard scaler that which is used to tra transform the uh, transform from one domain to other domain and here we are creating a cancer variable and uh, in this cancer variable we are going to download uh, we are going to assign the breached cancer data set so, uh, into this cancer variable that's why here we are using the data set and loading the breached cancer data set into the cancer and here we have describing this uh, cancer um, cancer distributions data set like it is a diagnostic data set and characteristics there are 569 instances are present and uh, 13 numeric predictive attributes and classes are present uh, by variance information like radius, texture, perimeter, area, smoothness and compactivity like other are present. So here we can see that malignant or benign tumors. There are two types like I said and these are all the present uh, data present in the data set that we, uh, we downloaded or we imported and coming to here uh, that CSV file which we present uh, that we are converting it into a Python data frame a pandas data frame set like uh, using this data columns we are we are changing it into the pandas data frame so if you see here we have first five uh, data uh, data is available here just to show you how it is going to be like this and in x variable we all assigned this uh, pandas data frame and here we are assigning the cancer targets. So target means uh, uh, whether it is a benign tumor or a malignant tumor. So here zero represents the malignant tumor and one represents the benign tumor. So benign tumor is not harmless and uh, malignant is a harmful cancer that which we have to detect whether it is that like, uh, see here, cancer dot target names. So why the target names are malignant and benign. So zero represents malignant and one represents benign. So, if we see the shape of X is 569. So, see here, see here it is almost 569 are present. See 570 available, the first one which is uh, nothing but the, uh, nothing but the name of the columns. So, we have to, we have to delete this first column. There are 569 instances uh, or rows present and and here let us see uh, 30 columns are that uh, like uh, various textures and radius these all are 30 present so 569 by 30 it's uh, showing that size so we are going to try in the model like train and test so we are going to divide the 80 percent of the data into training and the 20 percent of the data into testing purpose so here we are splitting that data set like x and y and text size is uh, 0 0.2 that it means 20 percent of the data is going to be going to be for testing purpose and 80 percent of the data we are going to retrieve it for the training the date and the model so after splitting this here we got like a prime shape is 455 by 30 and the test data sets is 144 uh, 114 by 30 so here we are going to reshape it uh, why because uh, if you want to reshape it we want to transform that uh, data into pandas data frame into the numpy array so that's why we are using this uh, standard scalar here so x trine equals to stand scalar dot fit transform of x trine so that's why here we are going to transform it with uh, into a numpy array and then we are going to reshape it reshape into the uh, 3D uh, three dimensional uh, format so that's why we have to reshape it and then epochs here we are going to create 50 epochs and here we are assigning the sequential function into the model so and we are performing like one dimensional convolution batch normalization and drop out so here we are dropping out 20 percent and using uh, 32 filters and uh, uh, with the activation ReLU as you all know that and and again, we are going to make it as a 64 filters and uh, activation with the ReLU. This input uh, does not mean that we have, we don't need to give it uh, uh, to the next instances. And here we are dropping out 0 0.5 and we are using this dense flatten. This all just to train the model here. 
this flatten and we are going to manage the data and we are going to know how the uh, data is differ from the one uh, malignant tumor to the benign tumor so for that purpose we are using that flatten dense dropping out the data and and we are dancing that activation as sigmoid and here the model summary is here like uh, one con one dimensional convolution batch normalization see here 96 parameters 128 and the second time we are getting it as one dimension convolution as one four thousand one hundred sixty batch normalization to fifty six five because we increased data from uh, from six thirty two filters to sixty four filters that's why uh, and uh, here the dropout is 0 0.2 and whether we are doing it is as 0 0.5 so here the summary of this model our model prime model so we are going to compile the model and we are finding the date uh, training the model very slowly why because uh, uh, why because we have to be grow fast train slowly why because uh, see here binary cons and accuracy matrix has an accuracy and history uh, we are the saving the model dot fit into this uh, history variable so if you see here the model is training like 89% and 92% 92 point and it is decreased here and again it is increasing the accuracy level up to up to 96 uh, 97 so in the epochs 50 by 50 it is trained up to 97 percent so it's a good right and coming to this uh, we are going to define a function like a plot learning curve plot learning curve it shows that uh, how our data is uh, differ from the original data so that it will we will see here we are plotting the epoch range to history dot accuracy and history dot value accuracy so value accuracy and accuracy we are uh, we are measuring uh, with the value accuracy with the accuracy and uh, here title labels these are all the uh, legends also given here and then we are going to see the loss curve also here so we are we are uh, we are plotting from the epoch range to the history loss and value loss so this is our uh, normal and history dot history here the full data is present like uh, uh, epochs range and the training data all uh, loss values and all are present here value loss all data is present here so here we are calling that function plot learning curve so if you see here here the training data set the blue color one is approximately equals to them after learning it is approximately equal to the train data set to the value data set and loss is also nothing uh, more than not not more than the value loss it is uh, it is almost to the value data set so in this way we can uh, in this way we can know whether the tumor is a malignant or benign tumor that's all about my project if you have any doubts please uh, don't hesitate to ask me and thanks for providing me this wonderful opportunity thank you sir